Hi everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies here on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make these trolls themed pencil toppers out of polymer clay. Now you can bring Poppy, Branch, and Guy Diamond with you when you go back to school this year. All of the supplies and materials for this project will be in the description box down below so please check that out and let's get started. For this project, you'll need the following colors of polymer clay to make Poppy, Branch, and Guy Diamond. And of course, pencils. To prepare the pencils, take some aluminum foil and wrap it around the top. This will make it easier to take off the clay later for baking. To make Poppy's head, roll the light pink clay into an ovular shape, and then carefully place that on top of the pencil. Repeat this step for Branch and Guy Diamond, but make their heads a little bigger. To make Poppy's ears, take two even pieces of clay and shape them into a teardrop shape. Then, attach these to the side of her head and blend the clay together with your fingers. Branch's ears are longer and pointier and you should attach them a little lower on his head like so. And finally, Guy Diamond has similar ears like Poppy, but just make sure you pinch the top to make them a little pointier. After you've made and attached the ears, take a plastic clay tool like this and create a curved indent like so in each ear. To make their noses, take some balls of clay and flatten them into an oval shape. Then, with a clay tool, make two indents at the bottom like so and attach it to their faces. Once you're done with the noses, it's time for the hair. To make Poppy's hair, take the bright pink clay and roll them into tapered coils. Then, flatten them slightly and begin attaching them on her forehead like this to make her bangs. Be sure to cut off any excess with an X-Acto knife or a blade. Then, roll out a ball of pink clay and cover the back of her head like so, cutting off any excess and then blending it in with your fingers. To make the top of her hair, roll up a ball of aluminum foil that can sit on the top of her head. This will save you some clay and make the pencil topper lighter. Then, roll out a piece of pink clay and cover the aluminum foil like so. After that, shape it into a large teardrop shape and smooth out any rough lines with your fingers. Once that's done, place it on top of her head and blend it together with your fingers or with a clay tool. Once it's securely attached, pinch the top of her hair to make it a little skinnier and then cut off the excess with a blade. Next, attach a strip of green clay for Poppy's headband. Cut off the excess in the back and smooth it out with your fingers. Then, to texture the top of Poppy's hair, use an X-Acto blade and then carefully separate each piece with your fingers. For Poppy's flowers, I used a small flower cutter used for cake decorating, but you can make these by hand too. Once they're all attached, she'll look something like this. Now to make Branch and Guy Diamond's hair, it's very similar. Continue to roll out balls of clay and cover the back of their heads. Cut off the excess and smooth it out with your fingers like so. Then, make a ball of aluminum foil and cover it with the clay to make a rounded rectangle shape. To make the hair fit better, be sure to pinch the bottom corners like so. and cut off any excess clay like before. Don't forget to blend the clay together so it doesn't fall apart. Finally, repeat the same steps for Guy Diamond's hair with silver sparkly clay.
Once the hair is all done, take a rounded clay tool like this and use it to make imprints for their smiles. For Guy Diamond's smile, I flattened out little balls of white clay and cut them in half and placed them on his face like so. Once that's all done, remove the clay from the pencils and put them in a bake safe dish. Bake your polymer clay in the oven according to your clay package's instructions. After it's done baking and cooled down, make sure you pull out the aluminum foil with a pair of tweezers. Then you can begin painting on their facial features with dotting tools and acrylic paint. Look at pictures of the characters to help you with this step. And remember to let the paint dry between each layer. Finally, once the paint is dry, you can glaze your pencil toppers to make them look shiny and protect the paint. There will be more information about glazing in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. Then after the glaze dries, you'll have something that looks like this. Well, that's it for this video, and I hope you all give this DIY project a try. If you liked it, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV, and check out Poppy's playlist for more Trolls videos. Bye!